On my way. Okay, so this is Yay. my main, main stronghold. Really the only oh, one. Oh, oh. I... Is this decoration, does it come with the little things floating in it? I love this decoration. Uh, the, uh, the bubble bath? Yes, it does. Is it? Oh, or that's awesome. Tub. Oh, it's a hot tub? I thought it was a, 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 a fountain. No, hot tub. Well, you know, I don't... That deck. Yeah, so this is kind of the reception area. I made it to be kind of a relaxation scene. <laughs> relaxation scene. I love the time and you say relaxation scene and then your uh, turret started firing. <laughs> yeah. Nice turret. Oh, that thing is that's, huge. Yeah, that's for the defenses and... Uh, but you know, I, I, I must have Imperial soldiers in there. Actually, this is kind of an Imperial stronghold. And there must be stormtroopers in there because that balloon goes by and they, they, it's going slow and they still can't hit. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's just so true about the stormtroopers. But they really can dance. Or am I the only person obsessed with watching videos of stormtroopers dancing? Okay, this is the... The artificer's room. Oh, nice. We got uh, uh, lightsaber um, weapon for both light. Oh, okay. Nice. And we have some some uh, artifact stuff in here, but it's mostly crystals, as you can see. Yeah, I like I... these crystal decorations. This stronghold, because it is dim, I, I went for a lot of uh, effects that have lights in them. The other stronghold, of course, is Nar Shada. You could do that with. But here, they're not competing so much with, you know, the, the neon lights of Nar Shada. And then the other side... We got the scavenging and the botanicals. Oh, this is and a good the, layout. The draw. It makes sense. Well, I'm just uh, getting to the point where there are too many of them to fit in here. Yeah, I was spreading mine around at first, just kind of, you know, using them as decos or whatnot, but. It meant that when I actually wanted to pull some mats from them, I was searching all over my own stronghold for them. So, yeah, right. the way you've got it laid out here is great. It's like if you want bio or you want scavenging, you know which room to go to and look for it. Exactly. Me, I'm riding all over the stronghold going, now, how did I use that deco again? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly why I kind of tried to group it and organize it a little. Yeah, because, you know, like there's always... Gears. I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, there's not many places you can put those. Those guys are just so huge. They really kind of overwhelm the space. And then I've that got that repair the droid. Is pretty good. Yeah. Where'd you get that at? That repair I droid? It, I think it came out of some flashpoint, if I remember right. Yeah, it's from one of the. I think Star Fortress or Nathem. Because I got a couple of those too. I like yeah. it. I haven't done either of those, so probably either. Oh, trader! I'm trying to remember. The gears ca also came from a flashpoint, because um, I, I got at least two or three sets of those guys. Yeah, those I remember. The big rusty color ones. Those are blood hunt. Okay. Yeah, I've done that probably two or three times. Yeah, this one. Yeah, I remember. I've I guess I could. It, but. Flashpoint on the deco for you, Michael. I mean, yeah, Kurt, it I says you're right. You. You're right. <laughs> the source. <laughs> you're right. The source was Star Fortresses. Oh my bad. Okay, so it was Star Fortresses. Well, it's didn't like you do I, it I on have... at least one of your characters? I, I, well, I, I've never defeated one. So how I managed to get this, I don't know. Unless you get it midway or partway or... Um, maybe you did the uh, solo version. 
version, I believe, drops more deck goes than the heroic version, which is a little backwards, but yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right, because the story version. Yeah, that's right, because you do a story version first, and you run that, and then you have to do the um, veteran version to progress against the Star Fortress, which I didn't realize for the longest, and that was very frustrating for me, because they changed the name of it from Heroic to... to they, they said that you had to do the Heroic version, and I was like, what Heroic version? You know, it's because they changed it to veteran, and they didn't update the help files, and whatever, but anyway... Yes, yeah. that's one that, that's outstanding. It's, but it's on the Imperial. Yeah, it's the uh, Heroic, you have to do once, like you said. And then after that, I think there's a weekly, you could do the regular one six times, or the Heroic one three times. And then, uh, yeah, but the Heroic one is the one you have to do to get uh, the Companions. Yes, yes. So I've been stuck there for, fight. for yeah. a couple months because I was unable to do it solo. I mean, I was making progress. I got about two thirds of the way through, but it was taking a long time. So this yeah. is this is the room where I spend most of my time. It's uh, both a trophy room and a main business room, as you can see. So I usually stand right here where I can click on both of my um, bay and the trade terminal without without really moving. And it's oh, got some death. So this is like my main business spot. I probably need to rearrange mine so I can do that. And so I've just like dumped some mementos and some of the lock boxes and stuff in here. You probably recognize a lot of these flashpoints because we did them to like Batman and Robin are over here. Oh, neat. And the droids. Yeah, I remember when they first made these trophy decorations, they were planning to wear the little icons in the lower left corner of the trophies. They were supposed to give you information about um, where the trophy was obtained. But unfortunately, that fell through. That would have been so neat, though. Yeah. Yeah, I wish you could like zoom in and, and like get a little memory of it. Um, so I just kind of remember like the certain ones, you know, Batman and Robin. <laughs> <But> <laughs> Same for me. Kind of hard for you. Hard to free. Oh, they are. Aren't they? they to me, they're the hardest bosses in um, the Eternal Championship. So now we're going to the more Sithy part of the storm. Mm. My hand, I'm scared. <laughs> Ooh, what's that? Oh, that does look cool, scroll? though. It's, uh, that I, is neat. I went through... Um, which The items are... Uh, I kind of went through the GTN one day and bought up every Sith de decoration. Most of them. And so that's where a lot of these came from, because I was trying to make this place safe. That looks this like a Dreadlord type thing. This is totally cool with the scrolls in it. I like that. And then some odd mementos uh... here, the ship models. That's good too. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. I was just thinking that that is pretty cool with Naomi's looking at right now. Random pet. I don't have too many of them, but... He's ugly, he fit. Low blood. Purple one. And now we get out to the interrogation area. Uh oh. So yes, when well, actually the stronghold belongs to my uh, agent. Yeah. So uh, so this is a good S place to strong to, to, to compel oh, no. information from from I mean, <laughs> yeah. volunteer. You know, I think they lowered the floor of the Starlight Pit. It seems like before it was all, almost level. That's neat. Oricon torches, I believe. And more sissy. 
here's where the Emperor stood before I killed him. <laughs> Does that oh make no, you help the Emperor me. now? I'm being eaten by the Sarlacc. Oh, I wish. Actually, my my sorceress wishes she was Empress. I can stop in the garage next. Don't get eaten, oh. please. Oh, it, I love this with this. Here we it, go with the regen. It spat you right back out. Uh, yep. It's I perfect guess. with the regen. It's like, oh no. Oh wait, I'm about to throw it out. Here we go. There's a... Oh no! Oh, what is that? <laughs> That's a regen. <laughs> a Sarlacc regen. I never even knew. Ah! <laughs> I didn't like the way my outfit tasted. Fine. I think it was you, not your outfit. Okay. Well, you know, I was dying, trying was, to deflect. <laughs> There's like two sour. I was definitely trying to deflect. Blame it on my outfit. Yeah, I was using. There we go. Pocket Sarlacc. Alright, so the garage is over. Ooh, which ship do you have? That's the Phantom. Is there oh. any other ship that you want in a garage? No. <gasps> XS Freighter. Can I just call it the Millennium Falcon? That's easier to pronounce. I love the Millennium Falcon. And uh, so, uh, some of my collection of mounts is stored in here. Oh, wow, yeah. The, the Michael ones from and the Imperials. Yeah, I'm gonna be like the next the Jay Leno of Swift Swift Tour. <laughs> there you go. Do you have one like this right here? Yeah, I do have something similar to that. Michael, can you uh, ride around in this one right here so I can see what you look like? Can I pick them up? I don't even. Yeah, you'll have to, you know, go to your abilities and do it that way. Oh, that's not uh, not that mount doesn't belong to this person. Okay. It to my, uh, it's probably in your collection. Okay, it's probably in your collections. You can probably transfer them over to everybody. Like every my, one of my characters has every mount that everybody else has. I could tell you what it is. It is a Dasta Kronos. Dasta Kronos. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, I like that's this a... one right here. Because it looks like a super bike. Ah, there it is. Yeah, that Dasta. one belongs to the sorceress. Oh, it's okay. a, that one is a. I don't even know what it is. It's a widow. And, oh, that uh, one looks just like mine. Yeah, it does. It's just another variant. I can't remember the maker off the top of my head, but yeah. A Roche, a Roche Widow, and you've got a yeah, Roche that's something what I else. Got. Yeah, so my sniper is like a, a punk person, so. She rides the one that you saw first, and the one down here that looks like a, a plane. Ooh, this one right here. Is this a cartel yeah. market, or is this a mission reward? I bought it, so I don't. I could look it up. That's really unusual. I like this. I don't it's think I've seen one it, like that. It's a Zaculan uh, Drifter. There's a couple variants of this one, too. I've seen one in silver. Looks like it's got a 30 millimeter cannon in the front, too. You know, I wish it had flare. Um, Maybe it does, but I haven't figured it out. Well, it would be so cool. it would it'd be so cool to see that thing firing. Um, what is it? I think it's Is it Control it's all, C? Control I think it's Z a flare. Or something, but but not all all mounts have flare on. Cuz I think that's something more recent than than this thing. Something came out in May. And then this one, of course, oh, yeah, also... It's... Go yeah, because I switch on my mount. This also belongs to the sorceress. This is her, uh, her imperial barge. It would As be it Empress. should be. As it should be. 
Yeah, you know, they picked Asuna to do the job, but frankly, she was inferior to my sorcerer. <laughs> I agree. I agree completely. Although, you know, she is a smart dresser, but then again, she's Empire, so that's kind of redundant right there. A lot of them are smart dressers. This is true. It's like, why does the bad side always get the best clothes? Yeah. And the I'm best kidding. looking ships. And the best ships. And the best weapon. More powerful. Yeah. Uh. And the best fight animations. Yeah. But the Republic side has the nicer stories. Shall we move on? Sure. Yeah. Now we're going to go up to the Enchanted Fort. <laughs> Ooh, neato! Okay. Uh, thanks for blowing up my strong... <laughs> <laughs> I was just, just going to ask her, are you trying to have this again? <laughs> <laughs> I always get myself in trouble doing that stuff. <laughs> so yeah, as I said, I, I the dimness of this place uh, led me to play a lot with the lights, and this is the main the main effort here. I bought up every gold um, life tree I could. Find. I like this torch. The one I'm standing to have my character next to. Which torch is this, Michael? Yeah, it's got a lot of nice detail to it. Good question. I think it's a Mandalorian something, but let me... Yep, uh, it's a Mandalorian floor torch. It's from really? the Outer Rim pack. But I, I bought it off the Jeep. Yeah, I was trying to set up a nice circle of torches and stuff up here. Yeah, since I looked at and, uh, and it was... When it, I it was, look at the previews in your stronghold, I'm like, these are really nice. Yeah. yeah. Darth Mark! Yeah. Had to have a statue to him. And, and to HK-51. Martyrs to the cause. Yes. Although I still refuse to believe they will not bring back Darth Mark. Yep, yeah, don't try to talk me into reality. I refuse to visit. <laughs> They've brought back now, everyone. What is it they say on Mythbusters? I reject your reality and substitute my own. <laughs> <laughs> so the be the bedrooms really aren't decorated. More light effects for the year. Can we go Shattered back under? Oh, under, okay. Yeah, we'll go under for Yeah, the Voss lights. I don't know if they ever gave off that much light, but they sure are pretty. They are very pretty. Oh, here's the dining, uh, here's the barbecue area with an each. Oh no! Look at that! I love that! You put the meat tree next to the fire. Oh yeah, convenience. <laughs> Alright, into the top. Oh yeah, this decoration I like. Oh, that's nice. One of my favorite. I lucked out and got one relatively inexpensive on the GTN. Have yet to be able to get another one. I like this. Yeah, they're they're usually cost. Mm -hmm. Got my Sith slaves. I've kind of got the light Datacron at one end of this tunnel and the dark one at the other. Yeah. This uh statues to match hopefully hey michael what's this decoration with the book and the little evil looking datacron holocron thing on top of it because that's neat 
Good question. Something Sithy that I picked up because it was Sithy. It is a Sith Holocron cabin. That's nice. Yeah. It's a nice piece. And then out this way is kind of re relaxation. Uh-oh. Dining. Another camp. Workbench here. Sith, uh, this is like the Sith table and benches. Sith temple stuff, I think. Bar with tender. Those the bartenders are extremely expensive. Are Bartender, they? I want a coffee with some bantha milk. Now, please. Uh, you have to bring the bantha here on. Sorry, but every time I see a bar, I've got to dance on the top of it. One, two, three, four. Go. Yeah, the Cost dollar bills if you want. <laughs> credits, credits. There you go. You know the bad thing yeah, the is that the the tunes in this game dance better than I do in real life. Yeah. Same. <laughs> that doesn't stop me. They don't have my enthusiasm. <laughs> exactly. That's that's why I play this game. <laughs> and here yeah, is Mister, though. one of your oh. favorite people in the universe here. Yeah, random light effect. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I was going to say the bartender. It's so expensive, mainly because uh, you purchase it with um, cartel certificates, and cartel certificates are well nigh impossible to get. So once someone does look out and get one, and they buy a deco and they decide to put it on the GT, and they can pretty much set their own price because outside of the uh, on Nar Shaddaa once a year now there's really no way to get no good or consistent way to get cartel certificates allegedly they drop from ultimate packs although that's so rare I wouldn't bet and uh, they at least sometimes drop from the uh, contrabands that got nerfed about the time with 6.0 when they raise the prices for the tokens they also seem to have nerfed everything other than reputation to oblivion so yeah there's just no way to get them which is sad because they have some really nice decos for cartel certificates and over mr valkorian we have uh i, I posed the crate skeleton up there it's, it looks nice from down here oh yeah that is a good oh wow <laughs> Oh my gosh! Can't wait to get up there and see it up close. All right, let's. That looks amazing. I'm getting plenty of those big blue crystals, so I just stuck that one. These things are some sort of Rakata power source, apparently. Yeah, they're from, uh, da -da -da. oh, Eternity Vault, the Eternity Vault operation. Okay, not much out here. Put up some but sandbag defense. Oh, this is awesome. Amazing. Yeah, this was one of the first things I got for the stronghold. Like, it was probably the first decoration I went. Oh man, that is really nice. And they're native to the planet, so fits they perfectly. Fit. Do you have macro binoculars, Michael? Um, I do somewhere. They're probably in my legacy storage. If you ever get a chance, 
uh, look out in the general direction where I have my character pointing. And you get a nice surprise. Alright. Oh, there's that balloon. Kurt, I was awesome. telling Naomi that I must have stormtroopers in that any aircraft gun because they cannot hit that balloon for the life. <laughs> and look how look they they just just missed that shot. It's like, come on, guys, it's not traveling that fast. <laughs> <laughs> it was like creeping slow, so missed, missed, missed. Yeah. So I've got my guard against uh, desert people up. Sandbags, because every now and then they, they are emboldened to. Was I the only person after the introductory cinematic for the Tatooine stronghold expected waves of uh, sand people to occasionally invade? That would be very nice. And here's a Zaculin hovercraft on the second pad. It looks smaller than I expected. I mean, it's like it's for one of these pads. It should have at least filled the pad. But it looks pretty cool. It is. I like the way it has its little repulsors or anti-grav or whatever it's called. So it kind of floats and bounces in the air. That's pretty awesome. So that's pretty ah, much it. Fireworks. Unless you want to take a close look at the A. Take a close look at it over there. Got the target range. <gasps> that is so neat! Where did you get this? Probably the GTN. Hang on, let me see. It is a war camp shooting range, and it comes from Man Mandalore's war camp decoration bundle. Oh man, that is neat. I just wish we could use it. Yeah, I hear you. I was just thinking I wish I could target it. Like, like, have like uh, each one of these be like one of the dummies. That would have been too, too cool. So and then we still, have... Still, it looks really up. The bad mission you added to it. That's where this Imperial standing. Mm-hmm. It's just in case the uh, sand people sneak around the back here. That's why I put it. And then, of course... Uh, are these are they connected? No, they're not connected. I just happened... To... You know, sometimes in these uh, large templates like this, you can actually put things on the... So like the... Uh, the centerpiece templates actually have smaller templates within. So if you had seen well, in my each, including other six. Yeah, my enchanted forest, I was able to put plants around the uh, the uh remind me of those big guns on boss. Sort of like the guns that Gormak use. Or on Bel Savis, I recognize that sound. And then we've got uh our, our power supply back here. Oh. And that's about it for this strong. Well, I'd say you done pretty good. Yep. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks for the tour. Certainly.